I was eight years old. Um, I was, we, we were just looking for something for me to do and we got started in bowling and how I started in bowling was my parents met in a bowling league so that's how everything started for me. Like I do snowshoeing, basketball, swimming, tennis, sometimes I do softball. Uh, when I was in elementary school, it was definitely hard making friends because I was called names and I was called LD and I didn't know what that meant. And I was even called the R word by a teacher in seventh grade. And it was not fun. And then I get to Special Olympics and I started off with only two of my friends including me and now I'm included with all these opportunities. I, I was thrilled. I was so happy. I made friends. I was with other people. People were signing. I taught people some sign language and we all got to hang out together. I felt so happy. And to get in regular sports sometimes it's not always the easiest thing. And um, you know, I, I, I had friends within the school, you know, that played regular sports, but to be honest with you, I wasn't really in that group of kids. And you know, to be involved in the Special Olympics, it kind of felt like I was, I was included. Um, and that, that's, that kind of sparked, it just sparked something in me that I, I loved the game, you know. I mean, and you know, I, I loved playing it and it was just something I could do with friends. So. I, I want a gold medal. Once you become an athlete, you start gaining a sense of voice. And once you become an athlete leader, you're a voice for the voiceless and the voiceless for the shy. Be positive, be strong, and be brave. <laughs>